Uncle Red. That is so weird. I was just going to read from the viewer mail, and every time you walk in. Oh, that's weird, eh? That's weird. That's so weird. Anyway, here's the letter. Okay, it says, uh, Dear Red, I've been watching your show for a short time now, but it seems longer. I really like when you do features on winter activities. Have you ever done anything on snowmobiles? Oh, you, you know that, uh, Harold. I certainly have. I've ridden on them. I've uh, stood up on them. I went into a couple of trees on them. I remember one time I got... No, no, Uncle, Uncle Rad, I, I think he means on the show. Like, have you ever done a segment on snowmobiles? Oh. Oh, well, yes. Uh, yes, we have. Uh, just last year there, I was out uh, fishing for walleye, and I hooked into a snowmobile, uh, which had gone through the ice the previous winter. I pulled her right up into the boat. <laughs> ah, it must have, what, had like a thousand pound test line? Well, you know me. Uh, and if any of the viewers at home wanted to try uh, fishing for uh, snowmobiles, uh, what you do is you run your line uh, very deep, uh, big hook, uh, no bait, and uh, do your fishing out in the, in the center of the lake where the ice is the thinnest uh, in the winter. And those things are good. Heck of a fight, a lot more than uh, say a car tire or uh, even an outboard motor. Yeah, oh jeepers, now that's fishing. Well, we had a heck of a time uh, landing that though. Uh, you know, we used a nine foot dip net, lots of rope, and I bet uh, the boat capsized three, four, maybe 500 times before we actually got the unit in there. Boy, that sounds like fun. Well, it's not. Well, let's go to our next segment. Uh, I have more to say about the snowmobiles. Yeah, I know. <laughs>